Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do another soft glam look and show you how I did this with the Tickle Pink Organic Airbrush Makeup. And I also wanted to show you how I store my airbrush makeup. I got this cute little kit from Lippy Book. And inside I store my little bottles like this. And it comes in different colors. This is an older model of the case. They have new ones that are black, but it came in pink and silver. And so anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can store your airbrush makeup as well. And so um, they were having a sale on these older kits, but I have a large one, so I wanted it to match. And this holds another brand of airbrush makeup that I, I use and lipsticks and pencils. It's designed to hold lipsticks and pencils and makeup, but I use it for airbrush and um, and I wanted something different than the traditional black, so I got the reds. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can store your airbrush makeup if you're wondering where to keep all those little bottles. And before COVID, when I was traveling and shooting and doing hair and makeup, I was just putting these in my suitcase. You cannot take it in your carry-on um, because of the liquid, but you can throw it in your suitcase and it was fine and everything would stay put. It was so easily organized and I'd just keep it in this and just pull product as I worked when I set up in the hotels or my studio locations or whatever. So I just thought I'd share that and I'll put the link down below for Lippy Book and they have a new pro kit or a new pro one that's in black and it has like plastic cases where you can throw in loose products. So that's super cool. But if you like the colored ones, they were on sale and they, I believe they came in pink, silver, gold, and red. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I used Organic Airbrush Makeup by Tickled Pink to do this um, kind of chiseled glamour look. And I also wanted to touch on what eye products work well with organic airbrush. And it's just the nature of organic or vegan or whatever uh, makeup products. Some things don't work as well at, with traditional products. So, at, so anyway, what I'm referring to is eyelashes and the glue and liners. I found with a lot of the organic airbrush makeup, because it has aloe in it, uh, my latex my lash glue and regular strip lashes weren't staying on and they were eventually popping. But I found the magnetics really worked. And today I just got a pair of Kiss ones that I got at Ulta and I got the lash glue that's black. Um, you can get it clear, I believe, and you can get it in a felt tip. But I just wanted to show you what products work with your organic airbrush makeup so you weren't wasting money and time. So I found the Kiss Magnetic Lashes worked and any magnetic lash should work. And the trick to it is shake the bottle and put a layer on close to the lash line. Put it the, the lash, paint it where you're going to put the lash so it adheres. And give it a second to get tacky. You don't want to put it on wet. Um, I put it on wet and I put it on right away because I was excited to see how they would work. But I, you have to give it a second, and I didn't shake the bottle either, so they were popping. And it wasn't the product, it's because you have to shake the, the, the lash liner, put it on, give it a second to get tacky, and then pop the lashes on, and they just kind of go right on. Like, it's really amazing. You can trim the lashes as well, and I didn't, and I should. I started trimming them from the inner corner because I found it was less of a pain, and it gives me more of a cat eye look. I put the full lash on just to see, and so my inner corners were popping a little bit. So um, I will go in and probably trim these. Um, but those were little tips that you should know. So trimming your lash, letting the glue get tacky, and shaking that lash liner so it's mixed up is really, really helpful to get your magnetic lashes on. And they last all day. I've been wearing them all day with the organic airbrush, which is aloe infused. So you should just be really aware that aloe infused products can cause traditional like latex glues and lashes not to adhere. So I just wanted to give you that helpful tip and show you that you can do a high glam look or a soft glam look, whatever you want to call it, and do layers and it will last you all day. So another really great tip is using the waterproof sealer from Tickled Pink. That really helped to set the makeup. It's like a setting spray, but through airbrush. And you really want to be uh, conscious of what you're spraying through your gun. You don't want to mix products through your guns uh, because the consistencies are different with different airbrush companies. And so that's really important to note. So I have different guns 
My Tickle Pink gun is for my Tickle Pink makeup, and then I have Dynair, and that's with the Dynair stuff, etc. So that's another really important point I just wanted to let you know. And if you have questions about airbrush products and the guns and just even the lashes and glues, just put them down below. I answer all of them, and I'm here to help. So let's get started. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Um, so I'm just going to go in and cover up the little bit of blemishes and discoloration that I've got going on around my chin. I've been breaking out from those masks. I know you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm just going to go in with my light concealer and I'm going to go around my eyes because I want to brighten around that and anywhere there's kind of a darker skin tone that I want to just kind of camouflage. So I'm going in a little closer than I would normally go in to spray foundation just to get a little bit more of a heavier consistency, a little bit more of a spray. And then I know it looks really light, but stick with me. If you've seen my other videos, you'll see how I cover it up and just kind of it blend it out. So I'm going to mix two foundations, Mocha and Frappuccino. All their foundations from Tickle Pink are named after coffees. It's really cute. And what's so great about airbrush is you can mix your color if you can't find one color to suit you. So it's really nice. I'm holding the tip and pulling the needle back and forth just to blend it. And then I'm going in larger circles and working my way around the whole face. And I'm further away than how I uh, sprayed the concealer, so that's really important to note if you're a newbie to airbrush. If you're a pro, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna assume that you're new to airbrush and you wanna learn how to use your Tickle Pink Air Gun and the organic airbrush solution, so. I'm going to go in and we're going to um, so you can see that the foundation's evening out slowly so I'm going to go in and add a couple drops um, of the white out I test everything on my arm first I want to use the white out as an eye primer and um, just kind of make the colors last a little longer and I'm going a little bit underneath my eye because I like to do color around the eye so uh, I forgot, I like to start with the eyes when I'm going to do a heavier glam, especially if I'm going to use glitter. And so I put the foundation on, forgetting that. So I'm going back to the eye, doing the white out. I'm doing a petal pink on the lid. Then I'm going to do magenta on the end corners, a little bit in the crease. And I'm only using one to two drops. And I'm going blowing very lightly on the low mode. And if I see any kind of pilling or I've gone a little too heavy, I just take a brush and tap it out really lightly so you don't lift the color. And then I'm going to go in with Queen of the Night, and I'm going to use that as my darker shade around the corners. And once again, give those bottles a good shake. You can see I'm only using maybe two drops. I test it on my arm first to make sure everything's spraying good. And then I'm going to work my way around and kind of doing a little triangle and a little bit in the crease. And I'm going to move in a little bit closer so you can kind of see. And I got a little bit of pilling on one side, so I'll tap that out with a brush. And then I'm just blending down and around my eye. And this is great for someone who wears glasses. If you can't see, you can just do a soft kind of blend. I'm using the Glix Fix, I hope I'm saying that right, by Tickle Pink. It is a glitter solution. I'm um, putting the solution on a tray and, and tapping the glitter and mixing it so that I can use a Glix Fix with other colors. And I went in and I did the eye, and I just blew a little bit of air over it, just to give it a chance to dry. Now, I should have taken a, white wet, a wet wipe and really cleaned all that glitter out, because you know how it falls off really easy. But um, I had a little bit of foundation already on, and I'll go back in and clean all that up. But I'm going to do a little liner. And really, if you're going to use the magnetic lashes, I didn't really need to do the liner, but it was habit. I used the blackest of the black from Tickle Pink, and it comes with a little sealer, so you only need a little bit um, to really get that black on. It actually spreads really well, and it's quite opaque, so it also comes in brown, if you prefer a brown color. Um, but I'm also going to go in with the Magnetic Lashes and their liner, and like I said, I should have left it to dry a little bit longer, so I went back in after the video and I redid it, let it get tacky, reapplied them. So you may see a little bit of pop. But they do work well with the uh, aloe, so I was happy about that. And I got these ones from Kiss. They are full thick lash. And I went through all the lashes there because they're all slightly different. And I found one that was perfect on both ends. So that's just something to note you may want to do if you're going to buy them in the stores. I went to Ulta for these ones. Um, but they're pretty popular, so you can get them anywhere. So I'm just cleaning out that glitter. 
and I'm going to go in and just do a coat of mascara on the lashes so there's no powder or makeup residue left on them. And it's something I always forget to do, so I do it right when I'm doing the eye, and that way there's no way of forgetting. Okay, so we're going to go in with the magnetic liner. So you want to shake that bottle, apply a thin line to the lash where you're going to attach the lashes. You can go in afterwards and secure it even more with two to three coats. And I did do that and it really helped. And this is a heavier lash, so I felt like it deserved that and it needed it. And it really does kind of just pick it up. Now mine didn't adhere right away because I did not give it a chance to get tacky. It would have helped also if I trimmed the inner corners. But as you saw in the beginning of the video, they were on and I created a thicker line just to make them a little stronger. So just something to keep in mind when you're working with magnetic lashes, but they do work and I was really happy with the way they worked. I think I may switch to magnetics permanently because they were so handy. And I think to get a lash glue and a pair of lashes, I got the thicker ones, was maybe $15. It was not much, but there's some great magnetic lash companies out there and theirs are a lot more, but you can get a real variety of thick lashes. And so for glamour looks, they're really great. And you can also get thin ones, which is great. So I'm just gonna clean out more of that glitter. It's not too bad on camera, but I just felt like it was everywhere and I felt like it was all over the floor. But I think that's one of the hazards of using glitter. So I use the Tickle Pink Glix Fix. You can get it in all different colors. It's absolutely beautiful and it's a clear solution that you mix with glitter powder. So I'm gonna go in and fix up that foundation. I'm once again, I'm doing mocha and frappuccino. I'm, I went in with the frappuccino and just kind of evened everything out and added a heavier layer. And then I used chai to brighten it and I mixed it with latte to go underneath the eyes and to create more of a highlight. Just ignore that lash, I fixed it. Trust me, it does work. So I'm gonna go in and just work on the foundation, even that out. And if you're liking the video and you're finding it useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. I have more tips on using airbrush, powder products, and just hair videos. And I use all this stuff in my glamour shoots for my photography. So I like to um, use the bronzer in the neck and I'm hollowing it out the cheeks and creating that definition and along the chin and the nose as well. Okay, so we're also going to go in and I'm going to add a uh, highlight, the diamond glow, which is really beautiful. And I'm mixing once again. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing my lighter foundation underneath the eye. So I used latte and chai. And I'm just cleaning that all up underneath the eye and evening everything out. And keep in mind, this is more of a glamour look. So I'm going to do all these extra steps, especially if I'm doing it for film or a special event. But this is something you may not want to do every day, or you may. It depends um, where you are on the makeup scale of what you're willing to do and the looks you want to create. Just disregard that eyelash. I fixed it, I swear. Okay, so in between I'm using my airbrush cleaner to clean out all the colors before I use the next color. You can get two guns and that way you can just work faster, especially if you're working on clients. Now I'm going to go in and go in with the highlight. And I, like I said, I love to test everything out on my arm first just so I know everything's spraying correctly and I haven't made a mistake in mixed colors and not forgotten to clean my guns. So I'm adding the highlight on the, the lip, the top of the cheekbone, the chin, and the bridge of the nose. So a little bit more of the chai just to even out that skin color and then I'm also going to go in and I used a medium warm blush and I wanted to create also a little more definition underneath the eye after I did the blush and sometimes I use the blush underneath the eye or in the, in the crease just a little bit to give it warm so everything kind of is evened out and so I'm just blending in that blush with the bronzer and the highlight and if you're not sure where you're where to put it, just do a half smile as you see me doing and you'll find your cheekbones, etc. And I'm going in and I just adding a little more warmth to the to the eyes. 
so you can see it's like evening out, um, covering things up. I'm gonna fix that lash, I swear. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and I want to just fix, like add a little more depth to the bottom of the, lot, the eye without using a liner. So I'm gonna take a stencil. Well, I'm gonna go in and do a soft one. So I'm almost creating an ombre eye and I'm doing a pink underneath the eye. I used a little bit of magenta because I had originally used that. And then I'm gonna go in Grab my stencil, I'm just looking for it now. And these are so handy to use. Okay, just checking that out. Disregard that lash, I swear. I'll fix it. I know how annoying on camera. Okay, so there's the stencil. I'm going in and pressing it down. I'm creating a more definite line. But I used a darker pink. I used the, uh, actually one of my blushes, uh, the, I believe it was the Desert Mauve. I'll list everything down below, but you see how it's created more of a definition? Just to add a little more pop, but at the same time keeping it natural. All right, so we're gonna add in a little bit of the waterproof sealer just to kind of set that look so I don't lose anything that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do the lip. I used some NYX pencils, the Milani Lip Plumper I loved, and um, the NYX Soft Cream. I felt like the cream was a little too soft and it almost blurred out the liner. So I'm just going in with the uh, NYX Soft Cream Lip and then I'm going in with a darker liner and just trying to get that more defined lip. But like I said, it, it felt a little soft, so. I'm just blending and blending, and I was trying to create a little more definition up top. I went a little bit bigger than my natural lip just to give that doll look and fill in the top angel bow, Cupid's bow, sorry. And I'm just using my Milani uh, lip plumper. I love that. It really gave it a pop. Oh, the eyelash is driving me crazy. So I'm just going to go in and kind of blend it a little bit. But later on, I switched it out. I did a darker or a warmer brown and just kind of took that uh, excess wetness out and did a Kat Von D like ice pink and then did the plumper and it was w like a little bit more uh, dramatic. You'll see it in the first half of the video where I'm talking, I did it. So I'm going in and just cleaning up around with a little bit of concealer and covering up a little bit of acne. I just hit my chin a little bit while I was working. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, if you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and a like. It really helps me out and I appreciate you taking the time out. All right, and let's move on. I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do some flawless finish. Um, so I'm just gonna bake a little bit underneath the eyes to smooth it out. I like it to be a little bit matte underneath the eye. And I'm just using a smaller brush to kind of do a triangle um, underneath the eye. Ooh, did a lot there. Just bake, bake, bake. But I definitely would do this for camera and for a special event, glam. And I'm just kind of blending all that out so I can get that chiseled glamour look. So I hope it's coming across. There we go. It's soft, um, but I covered all the acne. I evened out the skin tone and it can pass for a day look. So I hope you enjoyed the video once again and I appreciate your support. Please give me a like and share and click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. All right guys, thanks so much. And I'll list all the products down below and I hope you find it useful. All right, good luck with your airbrushing and using the organic Tickle Pink. You guys are gonna love it. Bye.